after playing these back-to-back -back hits, you know, or you have an idea who we have on unpacking this morning, don't you? The man whose voice you hear and you wonder, is this a woman? Is it a man? Because he's such sweet voice, you 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 will easily mistaken him for a woman. It's your boy Queen. Eh? I know I need I need voice training and all of that i can't sing like you but i can try <laughs> i can try it's your boy queen man what you hear yeah, that? Did you? Did did you? thank you thank you <laughs> but yes we have queen on unpacking yes, hi Seth. queen hi how are you doing i'm fine how are you ah good you, you you are you are never able to um Distinguish between Queen's talking voice and his singing voice. It's the same it's thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> it is the same thing. So soft spoken, so um calm and all of that. Thank but yes, Kimi, hi, thank you for coming. You're thank welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I, I like that you're here. Yeah. Because uh, I, I we are about to have a very, very detailed conversation. Are you open to it? I'm open to tonight? it. Tonight? Let's do it. Okay. Now, tonight <laughs> is the title of his fresh hit released three months ago. We'll get yeah. into talking about that. But before we do that, let's get to know what has Creamy been up to? Where has Creamy been? Um, I've been in and out of the country. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, not for not for good reasons. I lost oh. two of my brothers, oh. and um, yeah, my my cousins that I was very close to. My condolences. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, it's time for family here and there, so you have to be with family. Mm -hmm. And these are people that uh, closely, I would say, not not just uh, family, but part of what I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. emanates from them so i i feel i was supposed to be there for my family and i would say that is somehow part of my quietness i don't want to i don't yeah. want to put it that way but yeah. that's what it is no but i can understand mm -hmm. how that should happen considering yeah. how close you said they are to yeah, you very close um, it takes a, a while to get over grief right very especially close. because they also played a part um, exactly. in your music william william especially was was like my backbone mm. yeah because he also did music and okay. uh, we shared a lot of things including plugins including um, advice here and there mm -hmm. and you know when somebody like that goes it's 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 tough it's tough and before that i had lost my uncle and my father so it was oh, just back to back back to back it's plenty back to back it's really plenty my condolences again Thank you. That's but w what has been that motivation for you to come back first let me just ask how long did it take you away for and then we'll get to what yeah. motivated you to get back into it yeah um not necessarily away but you know you would not be able to focus to do certain things in terms of promo you know be online mm -hmm. uh, all the time mm -hmm. trying to push the music and here mm -hmm. and there because uh, me like this i'm a bit emotional so you will see right through me we the, can't yeah, tell i can't in the songs you, the music you literally see right through me mm -hmm. so um i think that is what uh, made it look like i've been off a bit but it's not necessarily off i've i've just tried my best to cope with whatever is happening and then move on mm -hmm. it is the moving on that maybe was a bit too harsh on me mm -hmm. but we are still on but you're still yeah. on now the the motivation to to yeah. bounce back and, uh, and the do motivation it as you're doing has now. yeah has been two major people okay family and fans okay and i classify friends as family so family involves family and friends uh -huh. and then blood and non-blood and non-blood yeah and then my f fans who have constantly been on social media asking bro we need you back uh -huh. bro you, you need to come back bro why are you not dropping the songs bro especially those who are close and have heard some of these new songs they're uh -huh. like bro we know these songs are hit why aren't you bringing the songs out bro why aren't you doing promo for this what's happening you get me they are always concerned and uh, when they get to know the situation they're mm -hmm. like we understand but still yeah. don't take too long yeah but it only makes sense because your silence was loud right yeah. there were yeah. times that even me I'll I'll, I'll, like, I'll be like what's, what's happening yeah. with Creamy why is <laughs> Ryan not you know, <laughs> pushing Creamy to, to you know yeah. release music and all no, of that at the, at but, at the uh, uh, backstage uh ryan below car all those guys they've been working back to back the only thing is the artist going through this particular 
stage. You mm-hmm. need to give him that space to heal, or else when you keep pushing him, people will see him dull on stage and dull on interviews, yeah. and then obviously it would it would show. Yeah, and it, it yeah. can lead to like you know extreme exactly extremities yeah. where extreme emotions emotions let me put where it that way, maybe you might break down or even say something that you don't have to then you might mm-hmm. create mm-hmm. a ripple of just it's bad fine. news it's yeah. fine I, I mean i'm happy you are back but also huh. would you attribute that um, break to the fact that you are no longer on the record label that we knew you to be on that's the highly oh, spiritual record label well that that was just last year that was like uh, October last year. Okay. So, not too much. But another uh, side of it is that that break gave me time to learn, mm-hmm. to learn certain things in terms of tell uh, me, tell music, me all the things music business mm-hmm. in terms of understanding what um, promotion is, promotional plan and business plan. Okay. Uh, as as a musician, there were so many things that maybe. I didn't know like that uh-huh. and I got the opportunity to learn to meet some people to have some particular conversations to upgrade mentally and business wise you know I've heard it said a few times that when artists um, separate from labels is when they now focus on music business why do you think that's the case for you yeah. especially you're not talking for like the yeah, that's others fine. but for you why was the case um of you knowing or getting to know more about music business when you separated why why wasn't that done when you were with the label or yes. even before you got with the label is it because you are babied when you are on the label or you are just no. made to focus solely on your music while other people do you know the other things for yeah. you unfortunately mm-hmm. that is what happened mm-hmm. so you see when a label signs you mm-hmm. um they put together certain things that they want to do for you or they have to offer for you mm-hmm. as a musician um whatever the conversation is they know that we have to do a b c d to get the music done yes yeah because of time constraints maybe you would not take time to go through the music business and certain things to have information Mm -hmm. because you are focused on putting music out in your contract you need to put an album out and you are always struck on that Mm -hmm. there are one or two times where you have uh, meetings here and then you sit in the meetings they explain some things to you and you're like okay then it means i will also have to do it but still just surface level because maybe you are focused on doing the music and mm-hmm. if you say you want to go into deep 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 mm-hmm. marketing and you wouldn't you wouldn't have the mind to write music music right. comes with passion music comes with emotions it comes with a, lo- a whole lot so if if you say you want to focus on the music business you won't be able to write music mm. uh-huh. but then again you need time like you see took time out of uh, uh, the faces and then you can have that time to go through all that it's like going to school yeah you need to go to school and understand all those things mm-hmm. and then come back to the work and you're like okay so then even when i'm doing the work i can do a b c d okay to help my music business grow okay. now with that said right how how are you looking to combining that now your music and the music business now that, love that you know <laughs> yeah now that yeah. you know certain aspects of music business that you didn't know prior yeah. right and then now you're back focusing on the music exactly. you have your knowledge in the music business yeah what's the plan to the, mix um yeah. or to combine the two effectively and effectively exactly for the creamy brand exactly so now um i know what to do uh to probably help or how to strategically uh help my team Mm -hmm. to be able to do some one or two things Mm -hmm. i can give positive inputs when it comes to setting up a plan for creamy or for an album or for an ep now i know what they would have to go through to you know do some one or two things Mm -hmm. and i know you see sometimes when you don't know what the managers are doing People will sit at the back and say, hey, these ones, they, they are not doing anything for you. You don't know what they are doing. You don't know what and, goes on. And big shout-outs yeah. to everybody that handle Creamy. Big shout-outs to Ryan. Big shout-outs to Babilo. Big shout-outs to Carl. Big shout-outs to Elom. Big shout-outs to Alistair. You don't know what they go through mm-hmm. to be able to put certain things in place mm-hmm. for you as an artist. And even including the labels. So big shout-outs to my former label, 
and their team and whatever they did for us because understanding the music business would get you to understand certain things that you need to do input wise you know stress here and there mm -hmm. it it's is very easy. it is very important to understand mm -hmm. but when you understand then you will know how to also strategically give inputs to help your brand grow so i know that right now creamy would become one of the biggest brands in ghana fingers crossed yes fingers crossed yes. we like that i I, I like how that sounds yeah it's, it's really really good for that to happen and because creamy the talent that all the big is, shows all the huge shows i love to hear that all the I huge love to shows hear that. is it are you saying that because you know they say that in local parlance say um Nifreni so but or better wow that means exactly are you saying that also because yes. you know um you know the rooms that you've gotten in exactly. back door, you know the doors that you're opening for exactly yourself? i know the meetings i've sat in i okay. know the, the the links that i've created and my people have created i know uh the trajectory that we need to take mm -hmm. to get creamy music to that next level I'm looking uh, forward to yes that. i know um the kind of meetings to probably solicit for some investments here mm -hmm. and there mm -hmm. i know the kind of understanding i need to have before i put my foot in certain things mm -hmm. and i'm getting there okay that's it right you've been on a label before yeah are you looking to be on another label are you even on another label or are you looking to go in independent now okay i'm not on any label now okay what's but, the reason uh understanding some one or two things okay. i know which label and what services i need from them mm -hmm. to be able to probably market my business yeah because um there are a lot of labels who would tell you oh, i offer distribution service i offer this i offer that i also offer distribution service <laughs> to myself <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah okay right now i also do distribution service for myself okay yeah so then then you know that okay if i need a label or a particular company to mm -hmm. come in i know this service is what i need from them and then when you have a good deal on that you know that this is what is coming from this side and this is how it will help us to get to this side but would it matter if the label is a Ghanaian um, based or it, it, Ghanaian it, grown record label or not? It doesn't matter. Okay. Only if they can do the work. But uh -huh. labels like um, big labels like Empire, uh -huh. like Sony, okay. like, you know, these guys are, 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 are grandfathers in this industry, meaning they have more links. They've been doing this for a while, so it, it wouldn't take them too, it, it wouldn't be too difficult for them mm -hmm. to do some things when it comes to marketing when it comes to you get me mm -hmm, yeah and because they've done it so long and they've built a uh, repetition on that um uh repetitive work it's mm -hmm. easy it comes it comes natural yeah apart from that they have a particular reputation for being one of the best marketers in the game, in the game. Right. so when people see that you are working with these companies they know that okay they will be able to do A, B, C, D. Even people want to even help when they hear that you are part of these companies. Mm. Then again, these companies also have a way of combining some of the artists that they've signed in to create, you know, they create some collabs and things. Some, some labels might not be able to give you that. Mm -hmm. I was blessed to be on a label that could collaborate me with Sarkodie. Yeah to push some light yeah. you know some labels might not be able to do that for you mm -hmm. or would have to pay hefty to do for that, that for you happen. and bef because they have to pay hefty they would demand more from, from you. you yeah so yeah. you have to understand what services you need from which company and then say you know what i want to sign with you i need these services what do you demand from me if you can meet that demand Let's go into then a contract. You, you meet, each, then other you meet each other halfway. Right. I wasn't going to mention any labels or anything, but you did that yourself. And so um, from the list of labels that you mentioned, which one over the top of your head would you love to be on? Uh, it, it, it doesn't even matter about the label. It matters okay. about the, the contract and offer the, the, condition the conditions they have. Yeah, because sometimes they feel maybe mm, you are not too hot mm -hmm. and then we'll give you a shady deal. Sorry. Yeah. It depends on the contract you have with them or they can say maybe you're not hot now but you are a brilliant artist we've heard we some songs potential. or we we can hear some new songs and can hear them going literally imagine them going to the top mm -hmm. and we know that let's push some 
investment here or let's put some effort here and we know it will get there and we can also make our returns from it that's nice um i've heard you mention investment maybe two times and so um you've also said that you are you've sat in some meetings and yeah. then you've been at certain tables so i'm just yeah. hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that we are going to see all of that yeah reflect you know in your brand your music your yeah. videos and all of that so now that i've mentioned music let's talk about the music sure tonight <laughs> Yeah. Tonight has been out for about three months now. Yeah. Um, after its release in June, right? You are heavily, heavily promoting <laughs> tonight. And tonight, you stated that um, you, you want to, you know, sell some cocoa to take, <laughs> yeah. to take somebody to Fernando Po. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. is that? Okay, so um, Ghana is I, I, tonight. I was just being creative about what okay. we have. Ghana is noted for not just minerals and stuff. We are noted for our agriculture, mm -hmm. and cocoa is one of the important ones. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Ghana, you uh -huh. talk about cocoa, uh -huh. and there's a, a backstory of cocoa being uh, brought from brought Fernando, from Fernando Po and mm -hmm. all those things. It, they relate to their music okay. and. Uh, to say I'm rich with cocoa is to say I'm Ghanaian. Okay. Because okay. it was one of one of the things that made Ghanaians who we are. And and so if I say uh, I will sell my cocoa, make we go Fernando Po. It's just to say um, I'll use my Ghanaian rich okay. to take you to places that we would enjoy our love and be spontaneous with okay. it. Okay. Now, looking looking back, right, um, the song doesn't have uh, an actual video yet. However, yeah, you have, have a yeah. lyric video, yeah. right? Would you say that tonight is doing what you wanted to do um, in relation to, like, fans accepting it, um, streams, and all of that? Yeah. The acceptance is there, mm -hmm. and I love that. Not, not doing as i want or not hitting that target yet because almost everything is starting afresh mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. that's how it looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. almost everything is starting fresh for me and um youtube is fresh you are not having subscribers as much as when you were probably on the label yeah. so everything is starting fresh you need to push 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 to create to create yourself recreate yourself mm -hmm. and within that recreation it's not easy Will take people time yeah. they would prefer to go on that platform that they know you on and then they go and they're like it's not there okay so then, find then you. i have to go and find him or push 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 the uh links and the urls on them to be able to say okay this is creamy's website this is creamy's uh youtube page this is creamy's uh social handles mm -hmm. okay then let me go there and then go find out okay. and it would it would start from core fans who already follow creamy yeah they would go and follow and see and and seek then it out. seek it out yeah and then it would come from people who are not necessarily core fans but still love good music or love creamy music they would also gradually go see it mm -hmm. and then people who don't even know creamy will get there S me i tell myself people think you are big but you are only big in accra mm. go out there travel out there go to kenya probably they don't know you and as you want to be an artist uh, a big a big star from mm -hmm. not necessarily ghana from africa you need to go everywhere with so that I, said mm -hmm. okay no you yeah, yeah that's okay. fine with that said are you planning any tours especially you know in ghana because you, yeah. you mentioned accra right the probability of someone somewhere in ghana not also knowing you exactly is, is there. It's there so are you planning tours within ghana and then outside of ghana yes. in africa and yes. then outside of africa yes that is the plan okay. that is the plan um i want to release my first body of work which i wasn't able to release on the label mm -hmm first body of work even though it was supposed to be part of the contract i don't want to say that mm -hmm. but we didn't release a body of happen. work so i want to release a body of work put everything together do a ghana tour go through all the regions have a good show and then move outside ghana move gradually to where people would listen to your music mm -hmm. or where you can push your music maybe start from west africa maybe you go to central africa northern africa south africa make sure that you push your music all the way to that places putting in mind that as you are moving 
you are making music, you are doing collabs, you are yeah. creating links, yeah. and you are, you are building up which all is also that, very, which important is very, very, very important. Very, very important. Help when you are on tour, right? Exactly. You can bring all of those very people important. on. If you're able to, if you're able to meet all these big artists from Tanzania, from Kenya, um, um, from South, from South Africa. Africa, Nigeria, and there are some brilliant artists from Cote d'Ivoire. Um, uh, Togo, Benin, they are brilliant artists there. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to link up with them. There's, there's this brilliant artist called Jay Zeno from Liberia, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and yeah. uh, wonderful artist. And we linked up. We have a song here and there, and we're looking to push. And now he has one of the biggest songs but in Africa. But I my bread. Yeah. You see, and those are the link ups we need to do to push our music to the next level. And we are, we are, we are working on it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're what are we getting it. after tonight? You've mentioned that you are going to work yes. on a, a body of work, but yes. I mean, before that, do you have any singles that you are going to be dropping and w pushing as hard as you are pushing yes. tonight? Because I like the work you are putting Thank in you for so tonight. Much. Thank so you so much. So should we be expecting any singles before the body of work is out? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to put out an EP as soon as possible. Okay. It was supposed to come All right after tonight. Trust me, I know what is on the EP uh -huh. and I have a hundred percent faith in what i have uh -huh. i am only taking my time because i need to have the right investment the right people the right connect mm -hmm. to be able to put that ep on that level Where it needs to be right yeah and big shout outs to people like uh david nicole who have who has had um deeper conversations with me to broaden my scope or broaden my my horizon on how i think about mm -hmm. certain things and how to promote music mm -hmm. and big shout outs to my uncle and his queer idea okay he has also been talking to me back to back to back been encouraging me to create a different mindset for promotion for music mm -hmm. even for music itself and how to project vocals and certain things for the people to understand and enjoy music right right we are here to consume what you give us yeah. so best of luck with Thank that so much. we are looking forward to everything that you are ready to to give to us like you said it takes time for yeah. people to now reconnect with the person they already knew exactly. because then it's starting from scratch yeah, it looks like but mm -hmm. you just know that we are we are vouching for you mm. we are behind you fully supporting you and all of that so you go go get it thank okay you so much. we're always so here much. to support you thank you so, so much. this is how we're going to wrap up it's um unpacking and uh we have more for you on the culture daily show my name is lenny lamote the conversation on unpacking this morning was with your boy creamy <laughs> <laughs> yes and so yeah um do have a good day and do make sure that you're still tuning into culture daily right until 10 a.m bye bye